Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Either way, I'm so happy to have you here. Today's video is my second nest with me combined with cleaning motivation and also a recipe idea at the end. This type of video is intended to motivate you even if you aren't expecting a baby, but for me, this is where we are in life right now. So I figured I would share what I'm doing every week to get ready for our first baby. Let me know what you guys are doing while you watch today. I hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you're new and let's jump right in so I get a little drunk on a Friday night with my friends staying up all night so I don't just stay and think about you it's okay but I'm all messed up don't know what to do to forget by you so I get Vision is helping when I'm stumbling in the dark. Uh, as soon as I'm feeling something, I just take another shot. And all my stupid friends. I had this laundry basket filled with all the baby's new clothes, so before starting anything else, I wanted to get some of that laundry going in the wash. All the tags had to be removed, and once that's done, I'm separating the clothes into lights, darks, and whites. I don't even do this with my own clothing, truthfully, but his are special and it was the first time washing them, so I thought I'd take the extra step. One thing that I didn't do in this video, but for future, I probably will i mean we'll see how it goes maybe not but i read that you should wash the clothes inside out so that if your hair is stuck in like that footy part of the sleeper or something you can easily see it and pull it out so it's not caught on their baby toes my hair is constantly shedding all over the place so it does seem necessary and i have longer hair but like I said, half the time, I'll most likely forget. It does feel so good to get a lot of this done. I'm between 36 and 37 weeks pregnant when this video goes up, and it's honestly getting harder and harder to move around and bend over, so it's now or never. Cause baby, I just want you. So I get a little drunk on a Tuesday night. Call my friends, staying up all night so I don't just stay and think about you. It's okay, but I'm all messed up. Don't know what to do to forget about you. So I get a little drunk on a Friday night with my friends, staying up all night so I don't just stay and think about you. It's okay, but I'm all My legs were killing me halfway through organizing the clothes, so I ended up standing up for the rest of it. What I was going to say is that we have bought his stuff from a mix of places, some higher priced pieces like the kite onesies, and then Old Navy is mixed in there and TJ Maxx. I always try to find things on sale if I can, but the kite onesies, although more of an investment, they are worth it to me. The material doesn't compare to anything else. They are so soft. It's that bamboo material and I've heard the best things about them. So we'll see how they actually work out once he's here. You have to let me know if you're like this too, but I'm the type of person that doesn't stop. I always have to be doing something when I'm home because there's always something to do. But in my next video, I think I'm going to be doing some freezer meals, a fridge cleaning, deep cleaning, and then some last minute prep like sterilizing bottles, creating a diaper slash postpartum cart, things like that. So that'll round out the Nest With Me series. So stay tuned. Show me 
The shelves had to be moved down in the closet, so I asked Joe to help with that. So I was able to start putting stuff back in there, and Mason made his little appearance. We had just picked him up from the groomers. He had on the sweetest summer bandana. I just can't. He's been my shadow for the last few weeks. He follows me everywhere, but when he walks into this room, he has no clue what's going on. But I guess he'll find out soon enough. Initially, I had asked Joe to help me put together this baby Bjorn bouncer, not knowing that it literally <laughs> came together. You just had to adjust the lever to the height that you wanted, which is why I'm laughing in those previous clips. We still cut the tags off. I did save the box in the attic so we can store it away after. I haven't done that with any of the other bigger items like the car seat and stroller, which I'm now thinking about. We probably should have kept those too. One thing I was on the fence about was a baby swing. Some people recommend this bouncer and a swing. We do not have the storage for both, so we went with this alone. If we need the swing, we can always buy one at that point. That's my theory. I'd rather have less and then build on to what we have. But I hear that it's hit or miss and every baby is different with whether they like it. What was your experience if you did have a swing and what brand did you buy? Let's talk about love. I wanted to quickly go ahead and make the bed. I'll need to utilize the space for the next parts of the video when it comes to packing and organizing, and it's just easier to fold and lay things out when the bed is actually made and not a mess. There is no place I'd rather be. Come on, girl, we can take my car, drinking some beers in your favorite bar. Yeah, you know I can't live without you. You make me crazy in that good way. So come on, baby, let's talk. Let's talk about love. We're on to packing my hospital bag for labor and delivery. The show is going down. I know things can progress quickly and I want to be prepared. Keep in mind, this is just my stuff. The baby stuff will be packed separately. I'm going to run through what I'm packing now though. I've watched a ton of videos hours worth on TikTok and have also heard what my friends have brought and actually used. So there's been a running list on my phone for a while now, but I decided to go the most basic way possible. I mean, this is the bare necessities. I'm using a carry-on suitcase to pack everything. It's easy to wheel and for me, it made more sense than a duffel bag. The first thing going in is an old pair of flip-flops. These are from Old Navy, but I can shower in them and then toss them after. A dark towel, I heard the towel situation at the hospital is just not the vibe, but we'll see. A portable sound machine, I not only sleep with one, but I know babies love them too, so I figured I'd bring that. I brought two pairs of the Always Diapers, no shame in my game. <laughs> I know the hospital does provide some, but I heard they aren't that great. So in case, I just brought two, all my toiletries, and then for clothing, just one button-up nightgown. I'll wear whatever the hospital provides prior. Two nursing bras, two pairs of socks. I'm not a sock person, so I don't even know if I'll use them, but everyone said to bring them, so here I am, and then my going home outfit. There's a few additional things I'll be packing last minute, medications, I forgot underwear, my contacts and glasses, um, some light makeup in case I want to look somewhat decent, I guess, and also, oh, a long charger, but that pretty much sums it up. We do live fairly close to the hospital, so if I need more, someone will be able to bring me whatever it is at that point. The nursing bras or anything I can link, I will down below. If you are a mom and have recommendations or a must-have that I'm missing, let me know too. I know this might look bad, but I'm just gonna melt in the background watching you lean into her. I just wanna get close to you. Yeah, I wanna get close. 
Something else I wanted to check off my list today were the two linen closets in the hallway up here. They're meant to hold linens but have become a catch-all for some random items. So I'm going to take everything out and then declutter or put away what doesn't belong in here. A lot of like sports gear or workout gear that Joe uses. Um, and then I'm going to put things back in a more organized way. I'm not buying organizers for this. My goal was to make room for some of the baby's things and just keep this closet as minimal as possible and to really keep only the things I need up here. The problem is, as you could probably tell from the before clips, the actual width of the closet is so tight it makes anything you put in here look cluttered, so less is definitely more. One area that I don't like having a lot of stuff in is bedding. I love it, but it's such a pain to store that I don't like a lot of extra. So I have one set of extra pillowcases and one extra sheet for my bed, which is plenty because as most of you know from my videos, I take off the bedding and wash it right then and there in the same day. I'm moving these overnight bags that are on the floor to the second closet, which here it is. We mainly store our towels and overflow products on these shelves. I think the biggest reason it looks so messy is honestly just the way things are folded and tossed or thrown in here. So let's start on this one now. A lot of these towels have become mismatched over the years, some from my bridal shower years ago and then newer ones. So my thought was now that everything is out, I'll refold the like towels together so they at least look a bit more organized and I'll also wipe down the shelves and door so it's nice and clean. The products on the lowest shelf will come next. While we're getting some of this stuff folded and the organization is underway, I just want to say I hope this video motivates you to tackle at least a couple of things you've been avoiding, even one area because you will never regret doing it once it's done. And yes, I still have a million other things to do and things get put on hold when I'm doing these organizational projects, but knowing that at least some of this stuff is getting taken care of and these tasks are getting checked off makes me feel amazing.
I'm moving on to the lower portion of the linen closet and down here is random stuff. There's an overflow product bin but also cleaning supplies, some medications, some of the dog's things. You'll see. So taking it all out now, by this point, I'm going to be honest, I had no energy left. I really pushed through to get this done. I know it's worth it but my advice if you're planning to do any sort of nesting is definitely start it before 37 weeks like way before at least projects like this where you're decluttering and organizing you're bending over and carrying things I work too so unfortunately time just got away from me and before I knew it I only had a few weeks left of this pregnancy a lot of these spaces were put off for quite some time which was my only motivation to keep going and I really wanted things to be a certain way before the baby gets here so once he is here we can focus on being new parents This right here is one of our medication bins. It also has medical supplies. I'm checking all the expiration dates. Some stuff had expired, so that will be tossed, but anything that was still usable, I'll put right back in. And here is the after. It looks so much cleaner and organized, you guys. I swear the projects I put off the longest take the shortest amount of time. This took me 10 to 15 minutes at most, and I'm so happy it's finally done. Now that we've gotten through the cleaning and organizing, I'm going to share with you how we made these quinoa taco bowls for dinner. This recipe is not only a really simple weeknight dinner or lunch idea, but it's also healthy. So to start out, I'm making my quinoa in a pot, and once it's done cooking and the water is fully absorbed, I added one full taco seasoning packet. From here, we're going to build the bowls. The base is romaine lettuce. I used what I had, but a spring mix would be really good too, or a combination of the two. And as far as toppings, I'm layering in some black beans, tomatoes, avocados, jalapenos, some cotija cheese, and then the dressing, which pulls it all together. I bought this creamy chipotle ranch from the grocery store and drizzle that on. But that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got a ton of motivation. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. We love to have you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.